Good morning, dear students. Miss Denisa here. Today we will talk about lesson four, working in a factory. Let's see what we will learn today. What are the objectives? Trace the sequence, sequence in a manufacturing process and determine the resources needed to produce a good. Now, let's go to our lesson from our book and let's try to read it together. Working in a factory. In this lesson, we learn how are goods made in a factory. The vocabulary word, the main vocabulary word today is factory. And we will see here what is it, but let's start with the beginning. Now, we use crayons in school and at home to make pictures. Did you ever wonder how crayons are made? Crayons are made in a factory. A factory is a building in which people use machines to make goods. You can see here some crayons you all used before, you all know them. And let's see what is the process of making these crayons. Now, many people work at the crayon factory. Different workers do different jobs. Some people work in offices to take orders or to run in the factory. Others work together to make the crayons, pack them and send them to the stores. Then workers at the stores sell the crayons. So if you can see here, we have many procedures. We have the packaging, yes, and the transporting. All these are important procedures in a factory. Now, how crayons are made? Step one. First, the factory workers mix hot melted wax and colorings. The wax will give the crayons their shape. The colorings will give them their colors. Step two. Next, workers pour the hot colored wax into molds to shape the crayons. Also, don't forget to look at the picture. See, here is the coloring and the wax. Here you can see how the hot colored wax is poured into mold to shape the crayon. Step three. Then the molds are cooled with water so that the crayons get hard. Step four. Workers look at the crayons after they come out of the mold. These workers make sure that the crayons look right. Now, step five. In another part of the factory, workers use machines to make labels and paste them on the crayons. You can see here these labels, yes? Now, step six, the last step, more workers put the crayons in boxes of different sizes. The boxes are then packed and taken to stores. And then the crayons go to places around the world. Your crayons went from the factory to a store and then to your school. Now, my dears, let's go to our presentation here and let's see some other details about the working the process in working in a factory so in a factory you have many different tasks being completed in the same building let's see some examples the building shelters the workers so for a factory we really need a building right workers build goods maintenance crews clean up messes shipping and department shipping department gets goods ready to leave the factory 
So, again, in a factory, there are different departments, each performing specialized tasks. Now, see some parts of a factory. We have a security gate. A security gate is at the entrance of the factory. And what does it do? A security gate protects the factory and helps keep it safe. So here is our gate. Now, we have an entrance. It's the front door. The doors of a factory regulate what enters and leaves the building. Yes, here is the picture we are with our entrance. Now we have also offices. An office, in one of the office, we have the big boss, the CEO. And this CEO, the boss, controls all of the activities inside the factory. Now, here he is. Inside the factory, what do you think we have? Oh, we have the factory floor and the floor of the factory has all the workers, machines, equipment on it. And where do we put all the parts together? Let's see this part, putting parts together. Oh, on an assembly line where the workers do their work. It items move along a conveyor belt to different parts of the plant. So look, you can see here an assembly line, yes? Yes, here are the items moving along a conveyor belt. Now, let's talk about factory workers. Workers on the assembly line are responsible for building the goods in a factory. So they have to be very careful, yes? And sometimes maybe very fast. Cleanliness inside the factory. Who is doing this? It's the maintenance crew. The maintenance crew in a factory, what they do? These guys break down, clean up, and repair items in and around the factory. So they are an important part of a team in a factory. Now, a factory can't function without electrical power supplies. Power stations supply energy to the factory for the production equipment to run. So, at last, we have an example. Let's see here how fruits from a farm are transported and they get to the factory and they get on the assembly line on a convoy belt and they are uh, squeezed in, in uh, these machines. And from here you get some apple juice and you can see how it is poured in bottles and these are packed and labeled. And from here they go to a supermarket, to a store, from where you can buy them. Well, my dears, I hope you enjoyed this interesting lesson. Go ahead and watch also a very interesting video about how you make uh, candies or how you make um, cars and uh, how you make silk. You'll see all these uh, little videos in this post during this week. And you will find them, I'm sure you will find them very interesting. Take care, my dears. Wash your hands and write to your teachers if you have questions, if you need help. We miss you. Bye-bye.